Okay, another guide from iosguide.net. It is updating the iPad to iPad OS 5.0 Beta 2. Once you've downloaded, you want to do Option and click on the Restore, and then choose the iPad version of the software here. So now we've done that, we click on Open. Obviously hit Restore. Oh, at this point, must make sure you have synced um, your device either with your PC or on the cloud, as a good friend of mine who's with me has forgotten to do it. So he's now doing it via the cloud, but make sure you sync it first. Okay, so once you, the software has been verified, your iPad will go into the restore mode. As you can see on the screen, restoring iPad software up there. And on your iPad, you have the lovely bar with the Apple logo. So I'm going to let it do that, and then wait for the next stage. Okay, so that verification and restore has been complete there on the screen. Now your iPad will restart itself, and then pop back into iTunes in a few minutes. Here the beep of it being recognised, and the Apple logo. And now we've got the excellent task of setting it up. So are we ready? Oops, that's not. Swipe to set up. And as you can see the default language is not English, so I don't understand that. So make sure you choose your country. For me, British English. And then again, your default country. Again, we're not in Taiwan. Surprising that from my accent. United Kingdom. Now it just needs your Wi Fi information, so for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you. I'm not speaking either. Which is surprising because sometimes I do. Joins the network. There we go. Hit next. Now we want to set up the iPad. We don't want to set it up as a new iPad. Today I'm going to restore it from an iCloud backup. So we hit that. Then hit next. Again, you need to put in your Apple ID. I can remember it. There you go. Now it will give us a list of backups to choose from. Now, again, my backup was done at 9.36. The other one here, my backups in the cloud are an, iPad, an iPod and my iPhone. So now we're ready with that, we hit restore, and we let it download and do its thing. I won't bore you with the whole process, I'll just let you see when it comes up with a time remaining. Now of course this will depend on traffic on the Apple servers and of course your web router and your web programs as well. There we go, it's going to be 23 minutes, so I want video, there we go, it's dropping a bit. I want video the whole thing, but I'll come back to you later on and show you what it's like. Okay, after it's downloaded the iCloud backup, it will restart yet again. Uh, and then it will appear in your iTunes device list. There we go, it's just popped up. There we go. We're just waiting for that to do. And then I shall show you in different videos some of the new features. Remember, once it's done this, it will connect to the cloud and re-download the apps that you had installed. Okay, if you've got any questions or want to see any guides, email questions at iosguide.net and visit the website, www.iosguide.net. Okay, very quickly, once it has restored everything, 
you're going to get some error messages um, saying you cannot access some information. This is because passwords aren't transferred over. So you will need to re-enter all your passwords in again.